Hey everybody, so there's a new cryptocurrency on the block, it's called Dogecoin. And Dogecoin is basically a script based coin. Uh, so it's a bit like Litecoin I guess you could say. And the max maximum amount of coins that can be mined is around 100 billion. So basically I don't see any huge advantage to Dogecoin in terms of, you know, it's a technology. Uh, compared to other script based coins but the branding is pretty pretty cool because it's uh, it's I think it's the first coin that's branded off of a popular internet meme the the doge meme so I, I think that'll give it a lot of advantage you know in terms of how popular it will get because as you can see here it's released like on December 8th which was like a week ago or something from when I made made this video and it already has 162 pages on its thread on bitcointalk.org. Uh, so that, that alone shows a lot about its popularity at this point. And yeah, basically, if you want to get started mining Dogecoins, first thing you got to do is download the wallet. And the wallet you can get from here, I'll have the download link in the description uh, for this version. And I'll also have a a link to this thread here so you can check out for any updates on the Dogecoin software or other related issues. So once you've downloaded the zip file you wanna either make a new folder uh, you know move it in there and then extract or then like extract uh, to folder so that you get like a new folder uh, for Doge, uh, Dogecoin and then you copy the folder and uh, you like or you, yeah you copy the folder down to like program files or something or re wherever you want to store it and then you rename it over there to like dogecoin because you don't maybe don't want this extra stuff here and then you go inside the folder you make a shortcut to your desktop of, of the dogecoin dash qt.exe uh, you, yeah, you make a shortcut to your desktop and then, then you start the wallet software. Once you started the wallet software, you go to much receive. Here's the place where you can make new addresses and you click on new address. And this is a, a mining pool payout address that we're going to make here. So you type in your label like Dogecoin mining pool payout, for example. Then you click OK. But I'm not going to do that because I already have an address here. And uh, and yeah, then you copy the address. You can right click, copy address. Then what you want to do is sign up for a pool. And there's a number of uh, Dogecoin pools already, but I just chose this one because it was first on the list. So this is uh, doge.scriptpools.com. I'm sure there's other good pools out there, and you're going to have to to look for them yourself but uh, this is just to illustrate an example so and I think this this pool is pretty good as well so it should be okay uh, then you go here to sign up click on sign up and you enter your details uh, enter your details username password and it does require an email but it does not require verification so you don't have to click on anything in your inbox and then you enter your pin code and you should re remember your pin code because uh, you're, you're going to need that in a bit and then you go and log in to your to the mining pool and you go to edit account and oh those tester one it logged me out I'm gonna have to log in again uh, yeah, so you go in here into your account and click on edit account. And here you enter the payment address, like so. And then you like give us a certain percentage donation. I would recommend that it's only it's only a little bit, so like a half percent at least. And then you have your uh, automatic payment threshold, so you 
ten thousand is the minimum on this uh, on this mining pool. And then here at the bottom, you enter your four-digit PIN number and click Update Account, and it, the payment address should appear here. And yeah, so then after that, you got to make a, a worker. Go to My Workers, and you type in uh, like a number here, like number one. Like I have number one and X or XO or whatever. And uh, then you want to make a note of these. This this is like the worker ID and this is the worker password. So you want to make a, a note of these. They're not, you know, super secret or anything. They're just, just you know, so you can log stuff. And you, yeah, you can, it's basically for mi mining with standalone mining apps. So the next thing you want to do once you've made your worker is download the mining software. And there's basically two ways you can mine mine for Dogecoins. Uh, number one is, or the first one is uh, c CPU mining. So you mine with your microprocessor, but that's usually not that effective alone if done alone. So, but, but you can you can you know try it out as well. So. You can get the CPU miner from this thread here. I'll have it linked in the description. And here's the 32 64-bit miners. And the second way is to through graphics card mining or GPU mining with your graphics card. And uh, for Radeon, like Radeon graphics cards and other AMD graphics cards, you're, you're going to want to use CG miner. And the newer versions of CG miner don't support script which is the algorithm that the Dogecoin is based on. Uh, but this older ones, or slightly older ones, supports it. It's 3.6.6, .6, for example. That's a, a decent version. And you go to this link that I, I'll have linked, and you click on View Raw, and you'll get to download the zip file. And if you're running a, a NVIDIA GeForce or other NVIDIA graphics card, and you're going to want to use CUDA Miner, and you can get it from this thread at bitcointalk.org, which will also be linked in the description. And uh, here's the like the zip file. It has both the 32 and 64 bit versions in it. So you can just download that and uh, extract it and pick, pick the version that uh, suits you the best. Then once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to make uh, these batch files. Basically these batch files, they configure the mining software where it's going to mine and uh, you know the username details and stuff like that so so you yeah you need to make those and to make those you just open up your notepad then you copy this stuff in in there and uh, and yeah you enter enter your details like your username and then the worker ID which was number one and then the worker password which I had as X so these, all of these are pretty much the same because they're all based off of, I think, the CPU miner. So their like structure or the format is pretty much the same, except for CG miner, which is not a script miner by default. Uh, so you need to enable like script mining by putting this additional thing here. But otherwise, it's uh, exactly the same as the other other two. And I'll have these linked as well in the description, so you can like copy them directly as well. And yeah, basically, basically these have to be in the same folder as as the the mining software. So it has to be in the same folder as the executable, like CUDA miner.exe or minerd.exe, which is the CPU miner or CG miner. And uh, when you when you want to run your miner, uh, you run it off the batch file. You don't run it off the executable because then it doesn't get configured. So you, when you make shortcuts, uh, you you want you want to make shortcuts to the BAT file instead of instead of the the executable. And that's how you how you run it. Yeah, um, that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment section. I'll, I'll try my best to answer them. And, uh, and yeah, that's all. So, happy mining, and I'll see you all later. Bye.